What's up guys, it's Matt here with Acoustic Selection. Hope everything in your life is going great. Today I want to teach a song called a Hallelujah. Um, you have won the victory or the anthem. There's different names of this song by the Planet Shakers. Uh, it's a great fun song to play and it's great if you're leading worship to kind of get people in the spirit of God and kind of just feel the Holy Spirit in the room. Let's uh, so start out C, D, G. C, B minor, D. So we go. This one to go uh, C, G, D, E minor twice. So let me give you a close up here. Um, this is, you can see the second fret. To play my, we'll start with the C chord. I'm playing these bottom two strings, third fret, first finger, fourth string, right there. I'm playing the bottom five strings for a C. Just moving these top two fingers up, and that's going to be a G. Still keeping the bottom two on there and playing. There's the third. There's the D chord. Bottom four or bottom three, either way. And then I'm playing the fifth and fourth string. That's E minor. Again, I keep these two bottom strings locked. So it's C, G, D, E minor. So let's go. Death could not hold you. Like makeup versus kind of. So again, the first part's going to start out C, D, G. And again, a lot of people are going to say, what's the strumming? The key is the timing of the chords. Listen for the tempo. So let's go. Let's go. Hallelujah. So let's go. Two on the C, two on the D, four on the G. Let's go. So you can just do, do 
if you're a beginner, you can do just down strums until you get that timing down, or down, 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 up, down, up. You know, it doesn't matter the down ups, it's all about that tempo and timing per chord. Again, that'll help you with your strumming. Type in Matt McCoy strumming if you need uh, strumming advice. Because if you're just starting out, two things are going to be a challenge. Getting your fingers calloused on the end so you can just press the strings you want to. And then getting the feel of the timing. So I hope this helps. Also, if you can't sing, let's say... If that's not a good key for your voice, type in Matt McCoy transposing and learn how to switch chords. So the place you play a C, let's say you play a A. The place you play a G, you play an E. The place you play a D, you play a B. And the place you play an E minor, you play a C sharp minor. So it's going to go. messing up there. Uh, a to E to B to C sharp minor. Death could not hold you See how I'm doing that kind of this? It's called the track method. You can even play it. Top it, Matt McCoy track method to learn how to use those chords. And you can see I'm just sliding these two fingers up and down the track. Hope this helps you guys. Let's jump into a uh, devotion. So for this devotion, I want to go over something that you'll hear me quote a lot. I email this to a lot of people, and I probably say this at least five or six times per week. It comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 11. If you can learn this one principle, this is true for Christians or non-Christians, to be honest with you. But particularly, let me speak to the Christians. If you can learn this one principle, it can absolutely change every way you do life, every way you think, and every way you approach people and approach your purpose and your mission throughout the day. Proverbs 11, verse 25. It says, A generous person will prosper. He who refreshes others will be refreshed himself. So again, a generous person will prosper. He who refreshes others will be refreshed himself. I can promise you from experience this this is one of the reasons, one of the reasons, not the only reasons, one of the reasons I teach guitar, one of the reasons I teach piano, one of the reasons I try to be a spiritual counselor to many people all, all over the world is because of this principle. When you refresh others, God refreshes you. He who refreshes others, a generous man will prosper, and he who refreshes others will be refreshed himself. Take, for example, even the church ministry. I just put up a picture of my wife and I on, on AcousticSelection.com. And I talked about how, what a joy it is to be involved with our kids' ministry at our church. I do that for two reasons. One reason is I want to deliver the good news, and I want to have an impact in those kids' lives. But I'm also smart enough to know, by me doing that, me putting my time and effort and energy into these kids and helping them grow spiritually, as much as anything, it grows me spiritually. So let me challenge you with that today. 
mark that in your Bible. Put that on your desk at work. Uh, put it on your mirror when you go up in the morning. Live by this principle, Proverbs eleven twenty five. A generous man will prosper. And a person who refreshes others will be refreshed himself. My dad always quotes the abundance mentality, which says there is enough good to go around. If you do have something good in your life, that doesn't mean I have something bad. We both can have something good here. A lot of people kind of have this cynical, negative attitude. If I see you over here with whether it's wealth, riches, looks, fame, um, intelligence, whatever it is, then I can't have it. But that's not true. Just like this Bible verse says, you can have it and I can have it too. So never forget that. Refresh others because you're going to be refreshed yourself. And be a generous, giving person because God will always reward that. He's proven it throughout time. A lot of times it requires faith, but trust God because the Bible says he knows your needs before you even ask them, so he will reward you for your efforts. Hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe if you haven't. If you know someone looking to learn music or something, tell them about the channel because one of the main reasons I started this channel is I, I use the what God's given me as a teaching gift, I think, for music to minister the gospel. So while someone, maybe if they're not even a believer, if they're interested in learning a piano, beginner, or guitar, they can come to this channel, but also, in return, be, be we can minister the word to them and have them realize the importance of listening to God's word and, and accepting his son, the Holy Spirit, and living the life he's called us to live. Love you guys. God bless you.